Good afternoon. We're so glad you're here. We did it fun. So if you enjoyed today's video, make sure you come back every day. I got told my haircut looks fine, just looks more military-like. That's what people on my team told me because I was venting to them about it. Um, so they said get over it. We have a pretty candid relationship, my team and I, and they literally were like, just get over it. It's hair. Okay. Fair enough, my wife, my baby, my dog, and you guys are the ones that see me the most. So if you guys all say it's fine, then it's fine. Um, guys, they're starting to feel this pregnancy move along, and it's pretty exciting. Pretty exciting. But I think she's resting in our room. I'm just finishing up my last big meeting. I have to clean up a few things before I sign off for the day. It's like 4, it's like 3, 15, so 4, 15 Eastern time. So I have like another 30, 40 minutes. Um, and James is asleep taking a nap. We have a season ticket holder rookie like mixer tonight at Wrigley Field. So hopefully the rain stays away and it's not too cold because we, I think, get to go in the press box, which we didn't get to do at the end of the summer event they had for us um, a few months ago. End of summer? What was that? No, it was spring? What, what, what? Whenever that was. I jinxed everybody. <laughs> James just woke up from a nap. Oh, come here. I'm very daddy, 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 daddy. More? Why wouldn't I do that? You watching some Peter McKinnon with Dad? Oh, so sleepy. Currently moving. So on top of watch the new Peter McKinnon. Love to see that. You wanna go to Wrigley later? Oh, it's so good. Jamesy's playing sweetly over there. Peter's got unexpected work past his usual work hours. Peter had mentioned that I was having a day, and it is. I'm actually tracking right now just like some tightening I'm having, some pressure. I know that they're not real, like intense contractions because. All day long I've been able to manage them and talk through them and like still like do my thing but that doesn't mean like they're not you know noticeable and that they're not causing me discomfort and I would I would now say that they're causing me pain but I took a bath I'm just relaxing also I know this is just might how I feel the next three weeks as we lead up to our due date James was not head down until this point. Like, he just flipped when I was 37 weeks. So, it, it has been, like, different feelings-wise with Teddy having been head down, like, I think since, like, before 30 weeks, like, 20-something weeks. And so, like, I get that, like, I've had, like, different pressure and different, like, positioning really does make a difference. So, I mean... I just might be uncomfortable <laughs> and you know that might not mean that anything is happening sooner than it would be to expect it it's just just a different feeling from this pregnancy from James all right unexpected calls but I think they're dealt with for the night and they also think I also might have figured it all out tonight which I did not expect to happen and it would have been sitting in my chest all night so that's good so now we have to rush and get ready and knock out the door We're a block away from Wrigley Field. I rallied. So I rallied. I do feel much better. Like four hours ago, I feel significantly better than. What? <laughs> That's then right now. Then, then right now. Um, oh, she's being driven by hunger. <laughs> yeah. They're providing food. <laughs> it was like, you guys could go, and I'll stay home with them. <laughs> They're gonna order food. <laughs> order, cook stuff. Yeah, I'm trying to like mentally decompress from that work call because it was like a last minute fire. Yeah. But I figured I did not think I'd figure. It. I thought I'd go home after this Cubs thing and like work on it all night. Just like, <laughs> I'm trying to shake it before we walk into Wrigley. But I'm ready for good night. It's like a low key thing. It's like we're gonna walk yeah. around the field. It's like we have it to ourselves with the other season ticket holders. Uh huh. And it's just new season ticket holders. 
and I found out from the Facebook group that it's not all new season tickets. They're only doing certain, like there's, a, I think they're doing this two or three times. Oh, nice. So it's like we only have today. There's some people that don't get it till tomorrow. Some people like haven't been contacted yet. Great. So maybe it's like a new thing throughout the season. So I don't see a lot of people being here and I think we get to go in the field, get to go to the press box. That's Fun things. Yeah. Wait a minute. We're actually in DC again. <laughs> Just kidding. It is cherry blossom season in Chicago now. Yeah. They're mostly at the Museum of Science Industry. So I'm gonna get a cherry blossom tattoo. I am not! <laughs> we really want to find my grandma's brick. Yeah. And we don't know where it is because it was moved. And I said we should construction. email our ticket rep and be like, hey, can you help us locate this? Yeah. There's gotta be a way like at Epcot where you can locate your <laughs> leave, a legacy. Leave, a, leave a legacy face. Here we go. Entering through Gallagher Way, we hear music, I smell food. Did you? Yeah. Check it out. Welcome to Rookie Day Season Ticket Holders. What's fun is they have the, the Cubs-Braves game going on right now on the Jumbotron. And then this here is a line to take a picture on home plate with the World Series Trophy. And then the, the, the bullpens are open. Um, the last time there, um, their dugout was not open. Yeah, and now it is. And then all the clubs that are underneath here are open that we can go see later yeah, we inside. We got hot dogs, chips. We just had normal hot dogs, chips. Cookie, I think. And a cookie. I got a beer, so I got a Pepsi. Our seats are over there, but we're going right here. And Jamesy wants chips. Yeah, let's eat. Are you happy? Ooh. What do you want more of? Hot dog. Is this his first hot dog? I think so. He's like Adam Huffman. Huge bites. <laughs> that just does not fly. <laughs> but he's loving it. <laughs> cookie, hot dog, cookie, hot dog. I know. We've been pretty, like, he's, his diet's been, uh, have very wide variety, but we've consciously not given him a hot dog. He is literally a known person to drink. Except he bites most of the world. But he's just so good. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm the cold a little bit. You want to go in there? <laughs> So there's four premier clubs at Wrigley, and they're all open for us to walk through. Love the Chicago this Star. This is what we did this one before. This is what's that like this, except of like yeah. yeah, we're looking for warmth. Could have eaten our food in here. So what's fun about this is that there's actually a Cubs Braves going on, and they're showing it on all the TVs. So Sarah's gonna take a break. I'm gonna run around with James in here in this cool like American Airlines pilot plane themed lounge that they have You're just playing around oh don't hit your head there's like all the oh i know him My phone is dead. yes jimmy yeah jimmy stewart <laughs> check it out the disney family what happened james so so cool now this is cool seating yeah this whole club is sponsored by american airlines and he's james is just going crazy oh that's cool american airlines engine looking thingy oh makers mark barrel room upstairs hey we're gonna make our ready press box and it was that good for you for the to rest rest yeah it was great i don't box know how they want us to get to the press box though when i did this before with a friend years ago it was just like a random door that you went in we're up on the fifth floor, Catalina Club. Ooh, this is nice. So it's another one of the lounges. Wow, so we're near the press box now. Very cool. Carrie Woods, 
point strikeout game. Oh. In the Wrigley Field. this beautiful time of the night so we were just up there how cool is that i think that's like the best club that cubs offers because that outdoor area and the beautiful up spot right over home plate above the red big wrigley field sign like yeah. you're above it so cool we're gonna go see the barrel room which i don't know if we saw last time we were here before we go to the w club over there and hopefully by the time we see that because it's coming up at eight o'clock hopefully this line for the trophy will be down, but we did see it. And when we saw it, it was more cool because it was not in a case, but this is my home plate. Yeah, we could do that. Here we go. Maker's Mark Barrel Room. That's just, I'm not sure if we were in this one last time. It's very Edison Lounge like. Edison Lounge meets baseball. All right, so it's like a very distillery. That cigars being sold over there. Look at those bats over there that make a Maker's Mark sign. And what's cool is all the TVs are in black and white. So we just left Maker's Mark room. Pretty cool, but just a different style, smaller. And now we've been waiting for this to welcome to Rookie Day to see if our name pops up. It's going alphabetical, and we were waiting all night for it to restart. We're back in the bees. Just casually strolling on the field. <laughs> We're in the BRs. <laughs> We're so nervous. We're, we're nervous, Nancy's. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna keep filming so I don't miss it. You man. Ah! Peter. Very cool. We're in the dugout. We're gonna go see the last lounge, which is. Right off to the locker room, which they might have open like they did last time, maybe. And then we'll see about hopping in this line to take a photo. Do you want to pretend to be Moises Alou and jump where Bartman was? Oh. <laughs> All right, this actually isn't far from our seats, but here we go, the W Club. It is not fully open because that's where like the locker room was over there where I had the last time. But uh, Lee Smith, pitcher from the 80s, is over there taking photos and signing autographs. Cool. Yeah. I think we might be done. Why don't we go out there, see how the line's looking, okay. and make the call. Yeah. Can I sit for like five minutes? Yeah. It's like 8.20, I think. Line is not bad at all. So we're going to go get a attempt of family photo with the World Series trophy. James, you're a pretty lucky kid getting to play in this, this gravel. We got our picture with the trophy. I'll put in the photo here. We're gonna walk on home. Back home, just taking Evie on a little late walk. Come on, Eve. Whoa. We're home. We got Toy Story of Terror on before we start our bedtime routine. We got some packages today. Oh my gosh, this is not what I thought it was. Hi, I thought this was my Mother's Day gift, but it's our new diaper bag. It's from the new Petunia Pickle Bottom Snow White line. Oh my gosh, it's a it's the same brand as the diaper bag we have had. Um, but it's bigger and it zips all the way down the side. Wow. Oh my gosh. This thing is incredible. Sorry, James. Yeah, I was blocking his view. Look at the interior pattern of the doors. I almost like that more than the, than the outside. It's so beautiful. So beautiful. Carolyn Earhart had told me about it, about the new Snow White line, and I like barely even like looked through it because I was just like, I know I'm gonna love it too much. And she had bought like one of the pieces. We saw it when we were visiting, and Peter was like, we're getting it. Our backpack is great. It's we have used it 
every single day our other petunia pickle bottom and it has held up so well like it will continue to be used but because of James still being in diapers still needing like changes of clothes just in case it is going to be great to have a little bit bigger of a bag and we don't necessarily like need to put this one through the ringer we have two bags we can kind of like use whatever bag fits like whatever we're doing best um, we also got these stroller clips which we have never had before so that's nice Oh my gosh this got here fast just look at that inside pattern so this side like zips oh gosh all the way down so like good easy access this side stays pretty high but then there are other compartments wow and what is nice about this one is it's a darker color our other one is light and it has gotten some like discoloration on it um, but this will be this will be good for that. It won't it won't show as much of the wear. Wow! And there is like built-in organization on the inside. I know that there are some like organizing cubes you can get, which we'll have to take a look at and see like what we need for changes of clothes or diapers or wipes or whatever. But it's nice that there's these these big pockets. What are you? Oh my gosh! It is a changing mat. That is so nice. I also got, actually I think I have one more thing coming from Old Navy, but I got a whole like, basically postpartum clothing haul, like some pajamas for in the hospital, but also like that'll be comfy and nice at home. A lot of nursing dresses, nursing tops. Um, and I want to like show that in a full haul, so I'll probably have that in tomorrow's video. Um, just because I know like today's already been like pretty packed with our with our trip to Wrigley. So there's that. And then the clothes I got for Teddy arrived, which like I could just do this real quick, is just like plain colored short sleeve onesies. You know, he's a gonna be a May baby, so. Got a nice short sleeve for the summer and then these little like baseball tees like he's gonna be so tiny and obviously like even though it's gonna be summer the weather is also unpredictable so even if it's in the 60s it'll be nice to have little lightweight sleeve these are that came in a couple different colors but I figured like this would be nice for him to wear the Cubs game the red um this one is green and then I got this little set he just needed some like basics um, mostly short sleeve because James was born in November and even though we were in Florida a lot of it was thermal or just like more winter style so he's gonna be a summer babe we really planned dinner out well with we thought there'd be more to cook again not just a hot dog and chips so we're heating up the oven to make some samosas and having some peanuts and chips. Peanuts and crack or that. Vegetable samosas on the oven, ready to go. I'm gonna chop, divide them up, chop some up for Jamesy, get some dipping sauces, and then we're gonna get this kid to bed. All right, are we liking it? Yeah. Ooh, that noise is making my teeth squeak. Oh no. Why not just play with an orange bird glass and wood blocks, and you should be getting ready for bed. Oh, gotta line up the blocks. <sighs> We're getting old, my friends. But that means our babies are getting big. Um, pretty pumped that he's gonna be here soon. It's gonna be a good time having two little ones around. It was a tiring day at the field. It was good. It was a lot of fun. A lot of a lot of things that like may seem like not important things, but like. Not every day you get to go on the Wrigley Field field or in the press box, you know? And even though it seems like it's every day, it's not every day. You get to end the night watching Bluey or laying on the ground next to one of the greatest things in your entire life. Right, James? Right? Right? 
Alright, we started the bed night process pretty later tonight, but we succeeded. Should we go to bed? It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Baby here any day now. Three weeks. Any days now. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions.